Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about the third international patient safety goal that is improve the safety of high alert medication. Let's move on to the topic. So the six international patient safety goals are first one is identify patients correctly. Second one is improve effective communication. Third one is improve the safety of high alert medications. Fourth one is ensure correct site, correct procedure, correct patient surgery. Fifth one is reduce the risk of healthcare associated infections. And the last one is reduce the risk of patient harm resulting from falls. So today we are going to see about the third one that is improve the safety of high alert medications. What do you mean by high alert medication? Let me clarify that with an example. For instance, instead of tablet paracetamol 500 mg, you are taking tablet paracetamol 1 gram, that is 2 tablets. What will happen? That will not cause that much effect, right? But instead of tablet paracetamol, if you are administering any high alert medications to a wrong patient by a wrong route or wrong dose, sometimes that may end up the life of your patient. That's what the definition says. High alert medication are drugs that bear a heightened risk of causing significant patient harm when they are used in error. So here are some examples of high alert medications and also I have given an acronym that is a pinch just to memorize the high alert medications. So if you remember this a pinch you can easily tell the high alert medications. A stands for adrenaline, atropin, adenosine all life-saving drugs. P stands for potassium chloride and other concentrated electrolytes like calcium gluconate, magnesium sulfate and sodium bicarbonate. I stands for insulin, all type of insulin preparations. N stands for narcotics and other sedatives like propofol, some anesthetic agents. C stands for chemotherapeutic agents, all cytotoxic drugs and H stands for heparin and other anticoagulants like enoxaparin. So one more thing you need to remember under high alert medication is LASA. Let's see about that in detail. So LASA means look-alike, sound-alike drugs. Let's see about look-alike first. Look-alike is always represented as a yellow color, as you've seen in the picture. So look-alike drugs are drugs that looks similar but different. For instance, tablet oval, that is phenyramine malleate, and tablet lasix, that is frusamide. So the first one is tablet oval and the second picture is tablet lasix. These two tablets looks similar but the action is entirely different. Let us see one more example of lookalike medication that is sodium chloride 100 ml and injection mannitol. So the first picture is 100 ml normal saline and the second picture is injection mannitol. Both of the medications looks very similar but the action is entirely different. Okay, now I hope you got a clear idea about lookalike drugs. Let's move on to sound alike drugs. What do you mean by sound alike drugs? Sound alike drugs or drugs which sounds similar 
but different in action. The best example is injection meropenem and injection imipenem. Both of the drugs sounds similar but entirely different. And the sound like drugs are always represented as green color. Let's see one more example of sound alike drug. Injection atropine and injection atropin. Both sounds similar but the action is different. Injection atropine and injection atropine. Okay. Now you all know what is high alert medication. We have seen some examples of high alert medication and lookalike sound alike drugs too. Now we are going to see some guidelines about its storage, administration and documentation. How to store high alert drugs? Keep under lock. All the high alert drugs should be under lock. Label with high alert sticker. So in all the hospitals, we have red color high alert sticker. So all the high alert medications should be labeled properly. Label the concentrated electrolytes with concentrated electrolyte sticker. So we have separate sticker for concentrated electrolytes too. So all the concentrated electrolytes should be labeled with concentrated electrolyte sticker. This is for lookalike, soundalike drugs. So, label with LASA sticker. Lookalike drugs are labeled with yellow color and soundalike drugs are labeled with green color. So, don't get confused. You can just remember like if someone is applying turmeric powder on their face, the person will look brighter, right? So you can keep in your mind. So look, look alike will be always with yellow color and sound alike with green color. Then segregate and keep separately. So this look alike, sound alike drugs should be kept apart from each other if you are keeping in the same rack. In other words, non-alphabetical order. So you cannot uh, keep the lookalike drugs in the same corner. If you want to keep in the same rack, just keep a tropin in one corner and a tropin in the other corner. It should be apart from each other or keep it in a different rack or shelves marked as lookalike sound alike drugs. Here are some guidelines for administration of high alert medications. The first one is double checking. That is independent double check. For instance, you are going to administer injection potassium chloride. Before loading the medicine, it needs to be cross-checked by your in charge. So the two persons has to check independently the dosage, the dilutions, calculations, and finally, they have to compare the results in order to prevent error. The second one is infusion pump should be set properly. As you are diluting the medicine and connecting through the infusion pump, always it needs to be set properly. This also needs to be cross-checked by the in-charges. The third one is proper dilution. So as you all know that none of the medicines will be administered as it is. All the medications needs to be diluted as per doctor's order before administration. The fourth one is proper labeling. As I said, all the high alert medications should be labeled with red color high alert sticker and concentrated electrolytes will be labeled as 
concentrated electrolytes. Next one is close monitoring. Whenever your patient is receiving high alert medications, the patient should be closely monitored. So you can connect the cardiac monitor and observe the patient. The last one is documentation. After administration, everything needs to be documented properly. Things to remember while administering high alert medication. There should be a complete written order by the physician which includes date, time, name of the drug, dosage, route, dilution, frequency, duration, the name of the doctor who prescribed the drug and his or her signature. Verbal orders are strictly prohibited until unless it is an emergency. It needs to be indent correctly. The drug needs to be dispensed correctly. Before administering high alert medications, it needs to be independently double checked by the in charges. It should be always diluted. The infusion pump rate should be set properly and it needs to be cross checked by the in charges. The patient needs to be under close monitoring. After administration, it needs to be documented with date, time, the person who administered the medication and the person who cross-checked the medication. After administering high alert medications, the patient needs to be closely monitored for any further reactions and that also needs to be documented clearly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this would be very helpful for you guys. In this video, we have seen what is high alert medication, list of high alert medication. I have given you an acronym, a pinch, so that you can easily remember the high alert drugs. We have seen about LASA, that is lookalike, soundalike drugs, how to store the high alert drugs as well as the highly concentrated electrolytes and LASA drugs, how to administer and how to document. If you feel this is really helpful for you, kindly like this, share this to your friends and subscribe my channel. My channel name is Jebin Shine. Don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever I am uploading new videos. Thank you all once again. See you all again with one more interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Jebin. Bye-bye. Take care.